Hello there, I'm Sam Bartlett. Welcome aboard Bon Edda, our Amel Maramu 46 from 1986. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through some of the features of the Maramu 46, designed in by Henry Amel 40 years ago. Design features which today make this classic sailing boat such a safe and reliable offshore cruiser, both on passage and in remote anchorages all around the world. So what exactly is a blue water boat? Simply put, it's a boat that will carry you around the world in safety, built to cross oceans and ride out heavy weather. It's about long passages and weeks at sea. Offshore sailing is risky. You'll be out at sea with just your shipmates, on voyages where you may be weeks, certainly days, away from the nearest harbour or replacement part. You want to be sure that each and every risk has been identified and a plan made to deal with it. A plan that you can implement and which will keep you and your crewmates safe. Henry Amel designed the Maramu 46 on a long distance delivery trip from France to Tahiti in 1975, crossing both the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans and no doubt having a few misadventures along the way. From the drawing board, the Maramu 46 was designed for a cruising couple to cross oceans as safely and as comfortably as possible. And in fact, every other Amel design since the Maramu 46 is a variation on this theme. Let's take a look at some of the blue water features designed into the Maramu. Throw a corked bottle into the sea and chances are, at some point, it'll wash up somewhere. And if you apply this corked bottle to a boat design, you can shut yourself inside in the worst of weather with confidence that you will float. The Maramu hull was laid up with single lengths of heavy biaxial fibreglass cloth running from one side to the other and end to end. So there are minimal cloth joints to compromise the overall strength of the hull. The same goes for the deck, which is structurally bonded to the hull with six layers of the same biaxial cloth. Bulkheads are glassed in whilst the hull is still in the mould, including two collision bulkheads in the Maramu 46 in case you hit something big and hard. One closes off the anchor locker and the other isolates the whole forward cabin section. The entire engine compartment is also completely separate from the rest of the inside hull space. So Bon Edda is essentially a series of watertight compartments designed to keep her afloat if one of them were to take on water. Once you've shut yourself inside in the worst of weather, there are ropes and pins to secure the outside locker lids without having to go outside again until it's all passed. And don't worry about the keel joint. The iron ballast is encapsulated into the fibreglass hull, so it can't just fall off. The cockpit is small and well sheltered from crashing waves by a strong fibreglass dodger. Water channels away from the cockpit, over the side decks and out through large cockpit drains. Assuming you've done everything you can and your boat is still sinking, it's important that you can launch your life raft quickly and easily. The Maramu has a clever lifting system which makes deployment a breeze. This deep, sheltered cockpit cocoons the helmsman. With all of the sail handling line controls to hand, the Maramu 46 can be reefed without ever having to go on deck. And if you do have to venture out, there's a stainless steel grab rail circling the deck, which gives you something solid to hang on to. Bon Edda has redundancy built into all of the essential systems. The huge battery bank can be charged using the engine alternators, the shaft alternator, the wind generator and topped up with the solar panel. She 
He doesn't have a generator, but there is plenty of locker space to put one. The steering has twin control cables, a beefy autopilot, Boneda actually carries a complete spare autopilot, and a well thought out emergency steering system. And the amount of spare equipment is like gold dust. When you're a long way from the nearest ship's store, you'll be glad of those grommets and that piece of water hose. When you do need to do some maintenance, or some vital repairs in a distant anchorage, there may not be that nice modern repair yard down the coast that you've come to expect. Happily for you, the Maramu 46 will sit comfortably on her keel, and the rudder skeg has been designed to take the full weight of the back end. Lash yourself some lateral supports, and you can wait for the tide to carry out any under the water line repairs. The engine bay is enormous and working on the boat's mechanical systems is not quite as much of a chore as on other boats. They say that your crew will break before your boat does and anyone who's spent an extended time on passage knows that between the magical moments of sailing there are those times when it's just plain miserable. At these times the little touches on board make life more bearable. Things like the flexible catch sail plan and twin head sail system to stop downwind rolling. A sheltered secure cockpit. A comfortable helm seat. Reefing and other controls in the cockpit with electric furling. Flexible sweeping options and lee boards. Hot water showers dry cabins and beds. Well that completes our walkthrough of the design features which makes the Maramu 46 such a great boat for offshore sailing in safety and comfort. <laughs>